Hey guys, I thought I'd take a break from my refinishing projects to take a quick look at this RCA UHF converter. What these were used for was uh, to let older TV sets that only had a VHF tuner, like this guy, to tune in the, uh, the new UHF stations from 14 to 83. UHF um, came online in 52 and uh, with the first commercial station in Portland, I believe and its popularity uh, grew from then on. Um, this one I'm particular, particularly interested in because it's the highest and uh, most elaborate design of any. This has four tubes in it, uh, a rectifier, the UHF uh, oscillator converter, and then two stages of amplification. Other ones, like this guy, only has one tube and this has two, and I think this Motorola Strata tuner also has two tubes. I showed this one in a couple earlier videos. I restored it and got it working. We actually do have several uh, UHF analog transmissions still in Chicago, so I can't actually use these to pick up stations. Here's the label for it. You can see the four tubes, 5Y3 rectifier, 6AF4 UHF converter, and then two 6CB6s for uh, amplification. I took a quick look at this when I got it about a year ago and haven't done anything with it since. I figure with a quick recap I might be able to get this uh, working so I'll pop off the back and take another look. Here's the top of the chassis. Power transformer, rectifier, filter capacitor, the two 6B6 amplifier tubes, and under this heavy lead shield is the 6AF4 UHF oscillator and mixer. Here's a look underneath. I removed the shield that would normally go over the UHF cavity so you get a look at what's inside there. So these are very high frequencies we're dealing with here. So um, that's what this elaborate tuning mechanism is for. So that when you tune the stations, it actually moves the slugs in and out of the coils in here. I think you can see that. There we go. So, uh, obviously there's a filter electrolytic can. I'll need to um, replace that is down here. I think I'll just tack a couple, let's see, it looks like it's a three section cap. I'll tack in three new electrolytics down below rather than restuff it right now. And, oh, I don't see any of the capacitors. Or I should say I don't see any paper wax capacitors. Uh, these frequencies are so high, they're, uh, they're all ceramic like these little guys here. So, uh, should be a real quick recap. I just need to dig up three electrolytics. Hopefully I've got the right values on hand. And then uh, I'll check the tubes of course. And I'll need to replace the power cord which got cut off ages ago. I removed the wires going to the old electrolytic can capacitor and routed them to these three new ones. And I replaced the power cord so now it is time for the dreaded first power up. I've got a meter clipped into the main output of the rectifier tube, so I am going to plug this in to my isolation transformer and Verivac over here, and let's see what happens. This device does not have a fuse in it, oh, yeah. but uh, my uh, Variac does. Uh, 
about 50% power now. Now, the tough thing with this is it's kind of hard to tell if it's working because it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, I'll have to hook it up to a TV to see if it's actually, yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. There's a light on the front. I didn't even realize. I'm going to put down the camera for a second and flip this down so I can see that. So I can monitor the tubes as they uh, light up. I've got it up to full power now, and unfortunately, I see a problem. Turn the camera lights off, and one tube lit up, two tubes lit up, three tubes lit up, but not the fourth one. So, to pull this guy out and see what's up. Uh, hopefully, it's just a bad tube, and I think I have some spares on, or maybe it's just losing the socket. I managed to dig up a good 6CB6 tube and put it in here, so I am going to find some of this uh, twin lead and wire it up to a set and see if it works. I think I used my Sentinel set for this test. Okay, I've got my Sentinel TV fired up. I dug out a UHF bow tie antenna, hooked that up to the UHF antenna input and I hooked the output to the receiver or the antenna jack on the back there so let's see what we got I'm not sure what channel this needs to be on I guess channel 5 there's our one local uh, broadcast channel channel 6 or on local VHF channel I should say uh, so I guess it's 5 mm -hmm. it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything as I a little something It's got something there. Yeah, it does seem to be like channel 5 is the right way to go. Let's see it. There's almost something there, but not quite. I finally managed to get one station in, kind of. Uh, but, uh, one thing that occurred to me is that I forgot to put the bottom back on. Uh, the, uh, the tuning cavity down here, so I'm going to screw that back on and then uh, see if it works any better. I put the shield back on, it really didn't make much difference, so... Uh, I then swapped out the other 6B6 tube and it's working much, much better now. So. There is WCIU. Channel 26, I believe. If I lift the antenna up a bit, it works a lot better too. So. Let's see what else I can pick up. <laughs> Something here. Let's see. That's like a home shopping network, it looks like. I think if I got this antenna up high, it would look a lot better too. And I should also check the 6AF4 tube, that might uh, be a little weak. Uh, there's some type of religious programming. So these are all the same stations I was picking up when I did the Motorola Strata Tuner uh, a while back. There should be one more station, but it was kind of weak as I recall. 
Yeah, there it is. It's coming in pretty good, actually. Even. TV, they show classic programming. So, very cool to be able to pick this channel up on a vintage TV off the UHF band. So, now I don't have to use a DTV converter box, I can use one of these. And let's see, I got this one, I got the Motorola, and I got the two others I showed earlier. So, if I could fix all four, then uh, at least I can have four of my TVs running right off of uh, the antennas. station right around in here but I just can't really pick it up. Just keep going. Only about halfway through the dial actually. But I don't think there are any stations up in the higher numbers. I think the last is around 48. So yeah this whole band seems pretty dead. In fact, I think the FCC has already reallocated some of this UHF portion to the uh, to the telcos or cell phone companies. All right, well, so what I find four or five stations are really me TV is the only one I really care about. They show a lot of great old shows all day, all night. And movies occasionally, like now. Well, the one kind of annoying thing is I don't have the schematic or any servicing info on this. I've asked online and maybe somebody will come through. Ah, uh, because if I do have that, then I can check more stuff, check the voltages and whatnot. Uh, one thing I will do though uh, later on is I'll try prying this open and swap this tube out with one from another one of my converters. 6A or 4 tube is kind of unusual. I think this is the main application they were used in. I don't think I have any spares. So I'll just swap it out of the, uh, the Motorola. I think so. Now that one's working pretty well. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video on an RCA U70 UHF converter.